Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to talk what is Kafka, history behind Kafka, and when you should use Kafka. So let us start. If you read Kafka documentation, Kafka is defined as a distributed streaming platform. It provides us the capability of transferring data from one application to another application. It facilitates that and it helps us write streaming applications. This is very theoretical. Let us understand why we need Kafka with an example. Suppose you are working for an online retail company. There is a system called order management system in your company. That order management system takes care of completing all the orders that a company may be receiving from a mobile, a website or any other kind of system. Your company is growing and they want to do some analytics on those orders that how many orders they are getting, what is the peak time for orders, they want to do some analytics. So they have big data platform and they want to get data from order management system onto big data platform. Similar to that, there is another app which also wants to use that order management systems data, order related data and want to build an another application. So they also start to get data from order management system. Now there is another app. That app also wants to build applications on orders data. Now app 3 also wants to use orders data and build another application. There is one more system in your company called promotion system. That also generates some kind of data. You feel that if you get promotion system and you combine it with the orders data, you can do better analytics. So your big data application starts to consume promotions data also. Now other apps also want that data. I hope you are trying to get this problem now as the number of data generator systems increase and number of the consumer system increase the complexity of our system will keep on increasing the wiring among different applications in your organizations will become so dirty that it will become very difficult to manage uh, transfer of data. So what do we do here? We need a broker system which can transfer data from source to destination. Now multiple applications may be consuming the same data or different data may be coming from different sources. Here input data is coming from many applications and multiple applications are consuming same data. All the data is being managed by one broker. So Kafka is that broker. Before Kafka there was enterprise bus. There were queues which used to do the same thing. How is Kafka different? So when Kafka came into picture these queues and enterprise bus systems were already there but they were not scalable. Kafka was built by a team in LinkedIn. They were facing the same problem. There were multiple producers of the data and same data were being consumed by multiple applications. So they wanted to simplify this whole flow of data pipelines. They looked into existing solutions but all the solutions had a problem. They were not scalable. They were not able to match the throughput and the scalability that they wanted. So they wrote Kafka which solves their problem. That's how Kafka has become a market standard. Let us see a hand. So to use Kafka there are two parties involved. One is producer and one is consumer. Producer is application who is generator of data who wants to send data. Consumer is application who wants to read the data. Producer will send data to Kafka. Kafka will store data on its server and whenever consumer wants to consume the data they can request it from Kafka. So as Kafka became famous Kafka added more capabilities to build applications. You can post small small messages to Kafka and streaming frameworks like Flink and Spark can consume data from Kafka and you can build streaming applications. Kafka also has a streaming framework called Kafka Streams which can be used to build streaming applications. Kafka also has Kafka Connect library which can be used to transfer data from any source to any destination. Lot of companies use Kafka as enterprise messaging system also. So it can be used as a replacement for ActiveMQ or RabbitMQ or any system like that. Kafka has also provided facility of Kafka SQL, KSQL it is called. It can help us use Kafka as a DB. You can see over a period of time Kafka has matured into a framework which provides you capabilities to write applications for streaming 
for a database, for enterprise messaging system, etc. So let us summarize what we have read. Kafka is a distributed streaming platform. It helps us write streaming application. It can help us transfer data from one place to another place, and it helps us write data pipelines. I will meet you in the next video where we will talk about theory of Kafka and we will understand different terminologies of Kafka.